and half in Winter Garden by high winds that ripped through central Florida. This is along a stretch of Porter Road between Avalon and Hamlin Groves Trail. A weather spotter reported this to the National Weather Service, and right now experts are trying to determine if this was a straight line wind that caused this or, or tornado. And Hermine is also blamed for taking down trees in other parts of central Florida, including Lake County. Heavy rain overnight caused a lot of problems. News 6 reporter Sashel Saunders shows us what people woke up to this morning. The parking lots are empty this afternoon at Lake County schools. Safety concerns forced them to close last minute, and now many families will be cleaning up storm damage. Overnight in Mascot, the rain poured and wind blew so hard you could barely see at times. When I woke up to go to work about 3.30 this morning, it was very heavy, very heavy rain. By morning, the damage was very visible. A tree right through the roof of a young family's home. Everyone made it out okay. Neighbors say they were surprised at the damage. But you never know what the, the rain can do or the wind is um, capable of doing. Reports of downed power lines and tree limbs everywhere. No word yet if a suspected tornado touched down. At one point, roads were tough too. Lake and Sumter County schools ending up making a last minute call. No school. <laughs> and when you heard that, what were you thinking? Woohoo! Why did we wake up early? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Clearly not a problem for those sisters. The rain had considerably calmed down by morning time, but there are expected to be showers in Lake County off and on throughout the day. In some parts of Lake County, they got up to two inches last night. Reporting in Lake County, Sashel Saunders, News 6.